Good evening, uh, Navika. Uh, I think it's fair because if it isn't, then I have a few rhetorical questions to ask my good friend Kamruji, and I hope after uh, I'm done, he would answer those. If the Congress is not indulging in appeasement, Muslim appeasement, then let it do these five or six things. Number one, let it support the UCC. If it doesn't support the UCC and goes for personal laws, then let it abrogate the changing of the Hindu code, bringing of the Hindu code bills that Pandit Nehru did. Why should only the Hindus have their laws reformed or restructured? Number one. Number two, if it is not appeasing, then let it abrogate the abrogation of the Supreme Court Shabano verdict, because that was the first step towards pseudo-secularism and appeasement to the Muslims. And the Supreme Court said that a poor widow should be given 200 rupees. And because of the Muslims' outcry, the Congress overturned the Supreme Court decision. If the Congress is not appeasing, then let it also say the Congress will bring a law that would control the mosques as the government controls the Hindu temples. Let it do so. I will agree that Congress is not appeasing. If the Congress is not appeasing, then let it say that RTE will not be used in conjunction with the 93rd Amendment as well as Articles 28 and 30 that allow or that structure and order only the Hindu-run schools to give reservations to EWS and do not uh, force the Muslim-run schools to do so. If the Congress is not into appeasement, then let it say it will not give salaries to Malvis, that it will not have state-controlled iftar parties, that it will not have these functions that are paid for by the state. For example, including the hut subsidy, let it say so. The question out here is this, that the Congress is heavily indulged in Muslim appeasement because that is where most of its votes that otherwise would go to other people come to it, including why not, where the demography shows. Why did Rahul Gandhi go to why not to fight? And finally, this is very important. You see, this canard that is being spread, that Modi <laughs> is anti-Muslim, anti-minority. Do you know our Muslim population is 14.2%? Do you know that as many as 31.3% of homes under Awas Yojana, 33% of funds under Kistan Naman Sidi, 36% beneficiary under Mudra Yojana have been Muslims? So on one hand, you appease the Muslims. On the other hand, you denigrate saying Muslim, Modi is anti-Muslim when Muslim has worked, Modi has worked more for the Muslims than Congress ever has. No other prime minister in living memory has done more for the Muslim than Narendra Modi.